You guys, um, you guys been Netflixing and you're quarantining? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, lots. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Not <laughs> other than work. I mean, yeah, just work, and then I stop working every now and then to watch some Netflix or Hulu. I'm a Hulu guy okay. as I- well. Hulu tried to rope me in by doing that dollar a month for a year thing. And then after, I think, 11 months and three weeks, I realized that I had only logged in one time and decided that uh, Hulu just wasn't for me. Uh, that's fair. Well, it takes all kind of mean that, that, uh, that <clears throat> Netflix, Hulu are just one of the many streaming streaming services that are now uh, pretty, pretty modern, uh, pretty much the minority within households. Um, and obviously, with my attire, I don't think it uh, calls for a, de- <laughs> a detective or some sort of some sort of open open murder case to uh, to figure out why I wore this. And in, in memorandum of our friend Joe Exotic, in the uh, in was it the Tiger King mysteries, monkeys, meat, and bonanza, f- f- lots of fun or something like that. After the colon, you guys watch the uh, series? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, it's, I it's actually. Phenomenal. I just finished it last night in preparation for this. I, I wanted to keep watching it, but unlike you two hooligans, I'm actually still working every day, full shifts, no change still in working. schedule. Yep. And uh, so I've only had like maybe an hour at night, and I've been I've been spending that hour with, with one Joe Exotic as much as I can. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it, I don't know, like spoiler alert, Joe Exotic gets 22 years at the end of it for uh, conspiracy to commit murder. <laughs> for the uh, for <laughs> amongst a bunch of other things, which came in as as a shock to me, I didn't think he would get that th- that type of jail time. <clears throat> uh, he did a lot of things that were certainly, and we we're, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about this in, in depth. There's certainly, I mean, there's something very un uh, unpalatable, and I do mean that as a joke uh, about them dumping like wads of cured meats and bologna and bacon and whatever else that was like left over at any type of convenience store, Walmart supermarket that they're going to then process again and feed to these exotic big cats. Uh, not sure if their diet or their, their, their belly or their biology calls for such a diet, but whatever. Um, so here's, here's where I'm going to kick this off. Unless you guys, do you guys have any comments on that before I kick into the, uh, the real, what I wanted to talk about? I think the comments will come. This, this is a full discussion. I just want to say that uh, the reason that Tiger King exists, the reason Joe Exotic exists, is because we live in America, a free nation where men and women are allowed to be who, who they are. And sometimes on the body of work that is America grows a wart, a nice, hairy <laughs> wart. Joe Exotic is the hairy wart of freedom that must exist in order for the rest of us to be ultimately free. It's thank you. It's well said. <laughs> I here's the th- okay. Joe Exotic, Carol Baskins, and then the third guy, and I'm I I bunish his name every time. The g- gentleman from South, oh. South Carolina who has three wives. Doc uh, Antle. Doc Antle, that's right. Yes. And he go he he has a weird moniker that he goes by, right? Uh, oh yeah, I've got his I I've got the IMD. Oh, it's I'm, something some like yeah, some kind of like Indian guru name. <laughs> yeah, but, a- Bahagavan, Bahagavan, Bahagavan Antle. Yeah, that sounds like the the dude from Street Fighter, the first one. Bal- yeah, he Bal- just Rugger. he just rocks the soul patch. That's right, like <laughs> yeah. the fucking monstrous soul patch. Yeah, you got it. He's totally trustworthy. He uh <laughs> he has uh he lures young ladies in uh with with nowhere to go and then give beams off the uh, the alpha male. Uh, bravado and says, you know, I, why, why would you want to go? I have everything here. I can build you a, a house. Um, I'm Bahag- these, I'm Bahag- these big cats. I'm Bahag- I think Bahag- there's a lot of this. Yeah, he's using the mark. Of this he's using the motion. mark. The Mark Wahlberg uh, cadence there, though. I can I can build you a house. I got some cats. You want to touch some cats? Let's go pet some cats. Say hi to your mother. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> right. Right. He did, like he kind of disappeared after the. Uh, you know, later on he he was making cameos, but really became a. Uh, uh, Joe Exotic versus Carol Baskins. That that bitch, Carol Baskins in the, in the later that episodes. Bitch. Because oddly enough, Doc Antle ended up being the most sane of the characters that were portrayed in the show. He's running a full fledged cult. The only one that wouldn't admit he was running a cult 
but he was still the most sane of all the people involved. Right, but it, but it became his his story became uh, pretty much subtext after everything because the real story was Carol against Joe, and not to say that Doc wasn't a character, but there was no murder plot, there was no uh, sardine oil, there was no bounty, there was no <laughs> shooting of fucking mannequins during commercial breaks of his home produced television show <laughs> interluded so with this many layers <laughs> I, I, I mean yeah doc doc seemed yes there was something unsettling about his um his uh, uh byu ish or his um his utah swang of um of luring women in a la uh, mormonesque uh, bringing in like one, two, and three. I'm like, oh, you know, you can live in my community. I'll build you a house of your own. I swing by from time to time. Um, so, I, yeah, he was he was interesting. But like I said, I think his story kind of got lost in translation after, you know, five, six episodes or whatnot. So, um, what did I say? I said that Joe Exotic got 22 years, right? I read out the uh, thing. Yeah. If you, you can watch the, uh, <clears throat> you can watch the last episode to get the ins and outs of the court case. So, this happened in January. He was sentenced then, uh, serving, serving the first couple of months in quarantine, in the ultimate quarantine, uh, first years of a 22-year sentence. So coming to his aid, now he has filed, I believe he's filed a $92 million lawsuit. He's a, he's filed for, or he's reached out to, not directly, but to Don Trump for a presidential pardon. Coming to his aid is none other than Kanye and wife Kim Kardashian, uh, they're going to they're reportedly in talk with Joe Exotic's prison sentence and in, in talks with President Trump uh, this week. Uh, they had to do it over Zoom due to the social distancing thing. Um, uh, Kardashian and West joined a myriad of celebrities uh, who I didn't see who have called for Exotic's release since the docu series Tiger King, Murder Mayhem, Monkeys, Banana Slaps, and Sardine Oil. Uh, the couple's eco uh, couple's echo of sediments. From the likes of Cardi B, who feels exotic, should be encaged from his 20 year, 22 year prison sentence for trying to arrange the murder of his adversary, that fucking bitch, Carol Baskins. So uh, I also read that this isn't Kardashian's first rodeo. She has uh, worked for, uh, I, was, I, 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 damn it, I lost the article. I'm going to get it, but I'm going to get your thoughts on this first. Kanye Kardashian coming to the aid. Of the Tiger King. It's as preposterous as it sounds. <laughs> I don't know. I have, a, I have a strong hate for Kanye and all, all things Kardashian. So, I don't know. I, I'm, on, I'm on the wrong side of this one. If it, it means that Kanye and Kim lose, Joe Exotic's got to rot. Oh, <laughs> so wait. but So, okay. So, it's more important for you to have Kim and Kanye... Uh, have egg on their face over this, then to have what, what? So you're you're in favor of them looking like assholes rather than Joe getting out of jail? Yeah, because I mean, at the root of it, Joe Exotic's an asshole as well of of probably the highest order. Uh, so really, the only in the grand scheme of things, the only solid outcome for me is that something happens to Carol Baskins, and then we're good to go. And then Doc Antle just has his harem. And does his thing. Uh, but be before I lose it, I want I want to make note of this. This is um, Kardashian worked for the presidential pardon of Elise Marie Johnson, uh, who was serving a life sentence um, after 22 years. Uh, Trump granted her clemency uh, based upon the petitions of Miss Kardashian West, uh, West um, yada yada yada. My point is, this isn't her first time doing this. So she's done this not only at this level, but also with the same person who was the president. And we know how this fucking cowboy can be. Uh, Murr, your thoughts on uh, Miss Kardashian West and Mr. Kanye West coming to the aid of the Tiger King, Mr. Maldonado. Well, apparently Kim's trying to get her law degree, if I'm not mistaken. She's actually trying, because I mean, her dad was a lawyer. She's not dumb. I, I This is the one thing that I hope people are awakened to. You don't create a multi-billion dollar mega empire off of a sex tape because you're an idiot. Now she comes off like an idiot, but I think she's far from dumb. And that case that you read uh, that Trump, you know, gave clemency to that lady, 
That was just the most famous one. I think she's gotten 20 people out of prison utilizing uh, Kanye as a conduit to get to Trump. So she she has some teeth, if you will, in in the ability to be able to pull this off. Now, I don't necess- I want Joe to be free because I think he would be the entertainment we all need right now. And in ailing America, he could possibly be the cure. <laughs> However, he does deserve to serve a few extra years in prison from the time of now to the time he gets out. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't even think he got the 22 years for the murder plot. I think he got the 22 years for the uh, they found like five tiger skull skeletons in his backyard. And he fully admitted to that. He said he had to euthanize them. And if you if you think about how many tigers this guy had in his career, the fact that they only found five in the ground is pretty amazing. It, it's, I actually got to applaud the guy. I think he actually loved those tigers. And every now and again, you love a tiger, you got to put a bullet in its head. And that's just that's just the reality. So, yeah, if that's all he's in jail for, he should probably serve a few more years, but hopefully they can help get him out and get him on the right path. If anybody's going to get him a reality show worth watching, it's Kim Kardashian in the story on that one. I period. think that if you were allowed to knock down some buildings, you'd probably find some more tigers. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I mean, and to be fair, he did have like a couple hundred, hundred, <laughs> hundred tigers. So... <laughs> that's awesome uh he did have hundreds of tigers so you. you know a handful hey. of dead tigers is i guess okay <laughs> well y'all listen up now i want you to hear what i gotta say okay because i have had some kinky sex in my day okay and uh this tiger right here has never experienced any of it and i would just <laughs> like to say just 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 ah, okay now okay now <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even know what that was about. Thank you, honey. My wife with the cameo there giving me a... Uh, Woo! Rear, yes. rear. Yes. Now, that is okay, perfect. so I don't know. I've been thinking about this. I've been thinking about this because unlike you two, I don't work. I'm currently unemployed, looching off the man right now. Um, but I don't know enough about... Okay, what I do know is it's illegal to kill endangered species. All right, no yeah. matter where you are. I don't know what the licensing situation is where these people, <clears throat> someone like Joe exotic, Carol or, uh, or doc Haddon, Adden, Alden. What is it? Antle. 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 <laughs> Weak ass last name. <laughs> Dick Antle. Um, to where, to where you're able to legally have a zoo like this. I don't know enough about the euthanization of a sick exotic animal and what the right protocol is. Do you call your local vet? Do you call the state? Uh, do you, do you, do you, is there a state level? Is there a federal level? Do you, uh, are there, is there some sort of exotic animal euthanization process that you go through legally that takes time and money and et cetera? And it's just easier to, I don't know if you would consider putting a bullet in a, in a, any animal's a, uh, sick, any sick animal's head and shooting it. If you consider that humane, that's all I, it's all a matter of, of, of what your ethical standing is. I guess my point is is that none of us know enough about what it takes to go through the process of humanely killing a or euthanizing an endangered species, right? Nope, never had to do it, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. No, well, but I, what I will say, and I, this is no defense uh, of him, the guy was so crazy about letting anybody on that property because of that stupid bitch Carol Baskins – that he just felt like he needed to take care of some things on his own. And I, I'll just go back to the, no, he I, he deserves to be in jail for certain reasons. Mm-hmm. The amount of time they're going to put him in there. And the reason they brought him to court in the first place was because of the murder plot. But they didn't try him on the murder plot. They tried him on the animal endangerment. So I thought he was found guilty that, for that, though. What's that? He was found guilty for that. Conspiracy, for what? Conspiracy to commit murder. I don't think they tried him on that. I think it was all about the tigers. If I if I'm remembering correctly, I think he's only in there for those five tigers and the multiple breedings and the selling of an endangered species and stuff like that. Because sure. that case was really flimsy, and they never brought those other two guys into the court to uh, be like, "Hey, did you try to kill this chick?" This is that one crazy that the bald dude that claims he was going to go kill her? He never he he, he never. He was never called upon. No, he he branched off into northern Florida and bought some uh, cocaine strippers and had himself a three thousand dollar 
weekend extravaganza. Fuck yeah, dude. He may have even taken a tiger with him to entice, make it more of a party, you know? Man, that guy looked all... like he would kill someone, though. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Absolutely, but who knew that it all all it ever took to get all the women you ever wanted was to get a baby tiger? Yep, that's it. For a short period of time, then you got to find another baby tiger. Also, and you got to and, of the opposite sex the, and have the mate. Who knew the baby tigers were cheaper than fucking French bulldogs? Right, three what was it three grand for a tiger? Like two, three grand. They said, "Yeah, hook me up. Oh, I'll take one. You want one for like two months." <laughs> cool, fifteen hundred dollars. You know, I don't know. To sell it to Shaq. Yes, exactly. All right. So, okay. So you, uh, do you see any, is this a publicity stunt on the behest of Mr. West and Miss Kardashian? Or do you legitimately think that they see opportunity in this and that they're going to do everything in their power to get Mr. Maldonado rear Tiger King out of jail? I mean, it doesn't even sound, it sounds almost (laughs) illegitimate. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know like I don't see why why would they why would they have any investment in Joe Exotic other than I guess a reality TV show which I guess makes sense I, I think it's all things in one I mean I think there's a lot to profit off of doing it um, I think they look Kim and Kanye are human like everybody else in America who's enamored by this story I haven't heard anybody that everybody knows that Joe Exotic Exotic was kind of a scumbag in in certain ways, but there is a compelling sweetness about that guy. Mm -hmm. He's, I I don't know what it is, man. Like you want to root for the guy and you don't want to see a guy like that rot in jail. Look, I think he, he had no direction in life and everything he made. The most bizarre thing is he's more of a self-made man than I'll ever be. (laughs) And you know, there's something charming about Joe Exotic. He got something charming about him. He got 19% of the governor of Oklahoma vote. Damn near one in every five citizens voted for him in a state governor election. I found that fucking amazing. I found that absolutely just blown away by that statistic. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, when he was out there and they showed the footage of him shaking hands and with everybody, like how did, how could you not like, if you're a slack jaw moron who doesn't know anything about politics, how could you not vote for that guy? Like, he is definitely one of us. Look how personable he is. You could talk to him about anything for hours on meth. He's got a blonde mullet. <laughs> and he lip syncs like Millie Vanilli. Yes. yes Maybe yes, better. Yes. I got to tell you something, man. For shitty songs, they are really well produced. How about that bitch, <laughs> Carol Baskin? Yeah, okay. So they're going to open up the case again against, uh, what, what the hell was it, Don or Dick or... Yeah, uh, Don, Don Lewis. Don Lewis. Don Lewis. So Don Lewis, who got the hell out. Of, Don Lewis flew his goddamn plane to Costa Rica and never came back. That's what I think. Nah, I think that bitch fed him to some tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know if she fed him to tigers, but what I do know is he didn't fly to Costa Rica. She does. <laughs> she knows what happened to him. I'm not saying she fed him to tigers. I'm not saying that somebody put a bullet in his head on the side of a uh, a walk in, a bike, tra- bike, bleh, bike trail somewhere or anything like that. But you've got, they estimated somewhere between, what, 8 and $15 million. So we'll say 8 You got $8 million and you don't even take half of it. You don't even take an eighth of it. You don't even take a million dollars to Costa Rica to finish your life off. He didn't take anything. So that's really suspicious to me. Like, Something they did something. He disappeared in some capacity, and yeah. n- but not by his own hand. Or somebody flew that plane and like pushed his ass out over the Gulf. That's probably like the only alternative theory that I could come up with. But that bitch brought up sardine oil in the most specific of fucking ways. She definitely fucking fed that guy to a tiger. To a group of tigers. What? Multiple what, tigers. What evidence do you have of that? Because she said sardine oil and her husband yes. isn't there anymore. Yeah. Well, the, but she brought up the sardine oil when they showed the footage of Joe getting, like, almost mauled by one of his own tigers who'd never heard him before and was smelling the crap out of his shoe. Joe was like, they pour cologne on my shoes. 
And she's Listen. like, you wouldn't pour cologne on the shoes. You'd smother them in sardine oil. I'm like someone who knows. <laughs> I'm a I'm a hack video editor. I can make one of you two look like a fucking criminal. I can make uh, one of you two look like a suspended suspected murderer. That's not hard. Give That's me definitely enough, not hard. Give but, me enough footage. Yeah, I don't think, yeah. It's semi hard, all right? I agree with you, but just the circle okay. Husband missing, no trace, woman who has exotic, ferocious, predator, meat-eating animals inherits the entire fortune because she broke into the business office and changed his will to suit her needs. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's suspicious in and of itself. Let's not forget about the, like, the other wife, the old wife, I think, before Carol and the two daughters. Sour grapes. Like, that bitch definitely... Fucking fucked us. Hmm. Sour grapes. Sour grapes. They're I probably think she knows. They're probably rotten fucking people. He wanted to give the money to him anyway. Got the hell out of Dodge. His 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 uh his car was at the at the at the airport. Yeah, bro. But like fucking Mer said, he didn't take nothing. You motherfucker, you're going to Costa Rica. You ain't taking none of your money. Maybe maybe he took like sixty grand cash. Come on, bro. Well, out of millions, yeah, you're going you, with sixty grand. If you you don't, there's no evidence to suggest that he there was foul play involved. They, there is they did an investigation. Common sense, my my good man. Someone saying common sardine sense. oil isn't a fucking. <laughs> I've heard conspiracy <laughs> theorists say things like that. But hold on, but you say that, but they ended up getting Joe Exotic to go to jail basically because two guys recorded a phone conversation and were like, "Hey, he gave you three thousand dollars, right?" Yes, he did. And what did he want you to do with that $3,000? He wanted me to kill Carol Baskins. And so did you? <laughs> no, I chickened out. It's, and that's how they got Joe Exotic. That's how they got him. It's right? So, I mean, how come one setup works and one doesn't? It certainly had a uh, a very It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia vibe to it when they were trying to get uh, uh, <laughs> Dennis to admit that he killed. Uh, <laughs> um, I... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know enough. I don't think tw- I think 22 years is, is ridiculous. Again, we don't know the ins and outs of it all. We don't know what the do you do you know what one count of killing an, an endangered species in the United States is? Do you know what the uh, the sentence is? I know yeah. that for whatever they were putting him up for, it was supposed to be 95 years. That's what they that's what he was facing. His maximum was 95 years. And then it it came down to 22. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, what what do you guys think is fair? I have a number in mind. What's what's fair? Because a presidential pardon doesn't mean Trump can step in and say, "I'm not going to pardon him full time. I'm just going to reduce his sentence." You can't do that. It's got to be all or nothing. But what would you think was fair? I would say five years. Alan, uh, for killing five, it de- five tigers. Yeah, that's it. That's all we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's probably five years. Yeah, I get down five years. A year, a year, of tiger. I'm looking it up. Hold on. <laughs> okay, while you're waiting, what do tigers dream of when they take a little tiger so, snooze? So I was reading into this before we got started, and I didn't get to get too deep into it. But I know that apparently America does not give a shit about fucking exotic animals. No. Just in general, America. we don't really, we don't really chase them down we don't really regulate them we just kind of let it let it fly so the criminal penalties for killing an endangered species can be as serious as a year in prison and fifty thousand dollars in fines so it had to be the conspiracy to commit murder yeah unless he got a bunch of them well i mean you got to keep in mind too i think it's illegal to like sell them across state lines and things like that which I think they got him on too. So uh, I, I, I'm not looking all that up. But you were right. He was convicted of two counts of murder for hire, eight violations of the Lacey Act. Well, I'm not going to read that right now, and nine violations of the Endangered Species Act. So you're right. I thought I didn't think he got got it for the uh, the murder for hire. I have been wrong, and I apologize profusely, mm. good sir. That's all right. Yeah. Dan rather admitted when he made mistakes. I appreciate that. Uh yeah. So, and I, did, did he not get um, fifteen counts of the Milli, Milli Vanilli Act of not, um, not, uh, not, not lip syncing stuff? Fraud. Yeah. 
Now, yeah. he did not because, one, he did not use his God-given name, uh, Joseph Pesovazliskia, and uh, two, he never <laughs> fully admitted that he was the one singing. He did admit fully to being in the videos, but not to being the uh, vocal presence behind the magic. It's true. Yeah. Wow. Well, hell of a show. Good Good timing. Good timing. Yeah, he, he definitely millied, but he did not vanilla, and that's <laughs> the distinction. <laughs> what happens they say he made that he did that uh that thanksgiving spread to make the three g's to give to the dude dude let me tell you something that wow. usual suspects breakdown at the end of the docuseries itself was amazing when they went back and they showed the footage of like piecing it all together about how joe basically got got cornered into this thing and then the fat guy who's definitely got child porn on his computer who's now feeling guilty about setting Joe up. Like, that's what shows me that, look, bottom line is, it seems like, I've checked his his website, he's got over, he's got thousands of videos on his YouTube channel from his uh, <laughs> exotic TV thing. Um, he said, I want to kill Carol Baskins probably at least five times a video. So there's at least 5,000 instances where Joe Exotic said, I want Carol Baskins dead, and she didn't end up dead ever Free, so. th- there's a there's a certain level like freedom of speech and i'm not saying because i've told people i'm gonna kill them and i don't mean like i've jokingly told my friend if you do that again i'm gonna fucking kill you and there's been instances in in altercations where i told someone if they did something again i'd kill them i'll fucking, yeah. I'll fucking kill you at do I, do I mean that no but uh yeah, I don't know, Christ. There is something quite humorous about him pulling out a fucking firearm and shooting a mannequin head that's made to look like Carol Baskins, like goddamn seventy Sam. I was talking to somebody about this today. Just the fact that, okay, again, like I say, you know, sometimes freedom has consequences, and you get a Joe Exotic every now and again. <laughs> I couldn't imagine shooting a gun in my own house. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Chris, also true. Imagine your wife and shows this- up with a fucking tiger doll for you to use as a prop. <laughs> Bye, you dumb bitch. You know, like, he just willingly, he, he even, like, shot a gun, like, an inch from a cameraman's head. Like, yeah. He was not a, he's not the most sane human being in the world, but I also don't think he's a threat to people. Somehow, as ironic and stupid as that sounds. All right, so, I mean, we're going to wrap this. Sec- like, yes or no? If you're going to guess right now, does Kanye and uh, and Kim, do they get uh, the pardon that they're after? No. No? No. I am going to say no, they don't, but they're going to uh, they're going to force uh, a, a, a new trial, and I think that he will have a reduced sentence, and it will be somewhere in that five-year ballpark. I think he will be able to, to appeal this in some way, and I also think that those other two assholes are going to jail for a much longer time than Joe's ever going to see. It's to be a really good My Cousin Adam uh, segment because I don't know. I mean, if, if the presidential pardon doesn't go through, that doesn't mean a retrial or some sort of uh, uh, you know opening the case back up session has to take place. There has to be an appeal from someone. I'm assuming he, he's, he's appealed. Well, but I would imagine that these other two guys are going to be brought up on some sort of charges. Because, again, if you're the guy who takes the money to go for the murder for hire and then you never face charges, even though you accept money to kill someone, Mm -hmm. I just feel like the feds should probably be in communication with you in some way. And the guy who stole the zoo from him, he's probably got a litany of felonies following him. (laughs) So he's going to come to trial at some point. And I just think that there's going to be some information that comes out that leads to a new trial or a reduction of sentence for Joe. And I think this is going to be helped along by uh, Kanye and Kim in some way. And then does Kanye make a song about it? Cause does he call it monkey, so. monkey business? It's going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, it's going to be, it'll be terrible, but it'll be one of the hottest selling songs in the history of mankind. Ooh, Kanye and Joe exotic. Boom. A fucking a, a Nelly and uh, Tim McGraw. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I awful. hope so. It's it's the only dream we have left in this Corona filled <laughs> world of ours. <laughs> <laughs> what was the No Church in the Wild? Right? No Tigers in the Wild remix. Oh man, I don't know, but I still say everybody here now, um, they really need to go listen to "I Saw a Tiger." It's a majestic song. Don't worry, it's the goddamn intro. 
I know, but they need to listen to it in its com- in its entirety. <laughs> it means if you That's... listen to this podcast in its I entirety. Mean, I just want you to feel that lyric, though. I saw a tiger, and a tiger saw a man. Does, does it rank up there, Andrew, with one of your favorite lyrics from Big Bottom Girls? Uh, <clears throat> uh, Spinal Tap with um, t- talk about my, Big Bottom shook me out of my mind. How could I leave that behind? Ah, so bad. yeah, it tops it. I think it tops it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think it tops it. Ah, man, I thought I thought I had Ace in the hole there. <laughs>